Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be looking at a geometry problem. In a triangle ABC, 1 over A plus C plus 1 over B plus C equals 3 over A plus B plus C, and we're supposed to find the measure of angle C. So we're going to be using some tools here, but let's go ahead and simplify this expression first. I'll make a common denominator. That's going to give me B plus C plus A plus C divided by the common denominator is just going to be the product, so let's go ahead and distribute that. It's going to give me AB plus AC plus BC plus C squared. And the right hand side is just going to stay like that for now. And now we're going to distribute. So the top here is going to be A plus B plus 2C. So we're going to be multiplying A plus B plus 2C by A plus C, A plus B plus C, I mean. And then the the other diagonal is going to give us 3 times this quantity here, and that's going to be 3AB plus 3AC. Let me go ahead and rewrite it. 3AB plus 3AC plus 3BC plus 3C squared. Now, I'd like to distribute the left hand side, but in order to distribute it in an easier way, I'm just going to multiply these two first A plus B times A plus B, which gives me a plus b quantity squared, which is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And then I'm going to distribute the a plus b over c here. That's going to give me ac plus bc. And then I'll take this and distribute it over a plus b, which is going to give me 2ac plus 2bc. And then multiply finally by 2c times c, which is 2c squared. You don't have to do it that way. You can basically distribute everything by everything, but I just find it a little easier to do it that way. So here we have, we have some like terms, AC plus 2AC makes 3AC, and these two make 3BC. So let's go ahead and rewrite it, A squared plus 2AB plus B squared plus 3AC plus 3BC plus, so we added those up, and finally we get 2C squared. Now on the right hand side, we got this expression here, let's go ahead and set it equal to 3AB plus 3AC, 3AC plus 3BC plus 3C squared. So we're going to simplify this expression. Let's go ahead and, you know, just subtract or combine like terms. I do see 3AC on both sides, so let's go ahead and simplify that. And then 3BC cancels out. And now we have the following. I have A squared plus 2AB plus B squared. And I have negative, uh, I have a 3AB here, so I can just go ahead and subtract it. And I can bring the 2C squared over uh, near the other one. So it's going to look like this. Then if I subtract uh, 3AB from 2AB, that's going to give me negative AB plus B squared. I'd like to keep everything that way. And then subtract 2C squared from 3C squared, and that's going to give me C squared. Great. Now this is the expression that I have, and I'm supposed to find angle C. But how do I find it from here, right? I have to use some relationships. So the, the formula or the rule that I'm going to use is called law of cosines. Let me go ahead and write it down. And law of cosines tells us the following. It tells us that if you have a triangle ABC, then you can write one of the side lengths squared in terms of the other one. So something like C squared can be written as A squared plus B squared minus 2AB multiply by cosine of the angle C, which uh, is the opposite of side length C. Okay, now this is the law of cosines, but let's go ahead and take a look at why this works. So I'll provide just like a quick proof of that, real quick for an acute angle, and you can definitely do the same thing for an obtuse angle. So suppose this is our triangle ABC, and I'm going to draw some heights here. So I'm going to draw up the height, let's call that H. So this is going to be A, this is going to be C, and if, the co if you call this X, the whole thing AC is B, so this is going to be B minus X. So I'm going to use the, basically this is going to be the proof. I'm going to be using the law of, uh, well, I'm going to use the Pythagorean theorem, obviously, so let's go ahead and use that. So I get B minus X quantity squared plus H squared equals C squared, and the other triangle gives me H squared plus X squared equals A squared. So I'm going to be isolating h squared from both of these. h squared can be written as c squared minus the quantity b minus x squared, or it can be written as a squared minus x squared. And from here, we don't really need h squared anymore. 
we can just go ahead and expand this b squared plus 2bx don't forget to negate minus x squared equals a squared minus x squared so i just used the pythagorean theorem for these two triangles and now i'm going to simplify this x squared cancels out and from here we can isolate 2bx as a squared plus b squared minus c squared and then if you divide both sides by 2b or not 2b yay finally i could say that you can get the x in terms of a b and c now this is really cool but it's not actually what we're looking for because i want to go ahead and distribute this so let me go ahead and do that this gives me 2bx and now i want to isolate c squared let's go ahead and add it to both sides and subtract 2bx so c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2bx so we're almost there but let's go ahead and take a look at this triangle here in this triangle we know that cosine of c is given as x over a so from here we can basically replace x with x with a times cosine of c let's go ahead and do that x equals a times cosine of c this is going to give me c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2b or not to be multiplied by x which is a times cosine of c okay so x was a cosine c, remember that? So let's go ahead and write it differently. x equals a times cosine of c. This is what we used here to replace x, okay? So what is that supposed to give me? Well, this gives me c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2ab multiplied by cosine c, which happens to be the law of cosines. So that's what I'm going to use, and I proved it quickly. Hopefully this wasn't too fast. So that's the law of cosines, and now I'm going to use it for my expression, but my expression is a little different than this one, and in my expression I have something like this, c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus ab. But remember that if two things are equal to the same thing, then they're equal. So let's go ahead and set these two equal to each other, and we're going to be getting something like this, a squared plus b squared minus 2ab multiplied by cosine c equals a squared plus b squared minus ab. So here we can go ahead and cancel out a squared and b squared, and we get something like this. And let's go ahead and divide both sides by negative 2ab, and that gives us the following. Negative 2ab cancels out, and we end up with cosine c equals 1 half. And what is that supposed to mean? Remember, we were looking for angle c. So from here, we can safely say that cosine of which angle is equal to 1 half, and of course, I'm talking about the first quadrant here because it's supposed to be an acute angle because it's positive anyways c can be written as 60 degrees if you don't like degrees and you want radians you can go ahead and write it as pi over 3 radians as well and this brings us to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed it thank you for watching please let me know what you think don't forget to comment like and subscribe i'll see you tomorrow with another video until then be safe take care and bye bye